Oh, look, another distraction. It's we're back to typing of the dead overkill because we're doing the second to last bo this the second or should I say last uh bonus level. Hooray, there's typing in this game. I am so happy. <laughs> so I you know, I can't remember if if we brought this up in in the, the the previous part of type that we did so does this are these two levels part of the actual story of that game or are they also just extra levels within that game that you unlock which just tells more about what happens here it's uh like i said before they're levels that were added into the extended cut on the ps3 which they're basically they don't really they aren't really story important they're more so just seeing like what was varla doing when isaac and agent g were off like doing their own thing. Being bros. <laughs> They're off taking the world by storm with their comedy duo act. But this one's a pretty this is this is a pretty good comedy duo act right here. I mean, I'm already put off by everything about these character designs, but I can look past it. Hopefully. What probably what's not. funny is, is that the blonde that is pretty much what the uh, the Arkham series would do to Harley Quinn. Basically, yeah. Unironic, yeah. and 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 they they and in Arkham they did it unironically. That's true, because you can tell they're just trying to be fucking gratuitous with this game. But yeah, Arkham tries to resemble sincerity, I guess, and then they remember, fucking fumbled I it. I remember I was at a, at a Barnes and Noble once, and there was like a uh, one of those. You know, hardcover, high-end, like, game guides. I love those. And I remember there, there, there was a sticker on the front that just says, Inside, two seductive posters of Harley Quinn and Catwoman. And I was just like, dude, like, I, I know this. I know those things are made for, like, 13-year-old boys. But it's like, Jesus Christ, guys, like, don't be so... That's, that's, just, like, that's one of the smack people. That's a, the lamest thing ever. And I, I bet you, people, at least two people bought that just to jerk off those pictures. Exactly. One of them bought it to jerk off to it. The other one bought it to scalp it. <laughs> <laughs> Harley Quinn looks better when she has the full bodysuit. The whole, the full jester bodysuit on anyway. Exactly. Mm. Plus she's it's in a committed relationship with Poison Ivy, alright? <laughs> the, the one good thing about Suicide Squad was that five seconds where they showed her in that costume. I was like, oh, they did it, they did it, and now it's gone. This the best sucks. thing about Suicide Squad was that five-second reference to the Alex Ross cover. Oh. Because Alex Ross. I love that in the, uh, in the Morat DVD commentary, Kevin Smith, it doesn't refer to him by name, but he's talking about Alex Ross, and he refers to him as a two-bit painter. Just kind of like, nah, I'm pretty sure he's what? much more respected than you ever could be. Plus, that's also in the commentary for Mallrats, one of the stupidest fucking movies ever. Mallrats, Mallrats, I think, is, is a pretty shit movie, but I will defend that comment. The commentary is fucking hilarious. Huh? That commentary is so much well, funnier that, than the movie it is. Exactly, but that also goes back to the fact that Kevin Smith is a better storyteller than anything else, because he's not that great of a director unless he was making that one passion project and shit, but yeah, like, of course the commentary would be better than the movie. It, it, it was, it's also ironic the fact that, you know, he is a good in-person storyteller. You think he'd be a better writer of stories? <laughs> nope. But I guess not. I mean, well, he's very hit and he's very hit and miss. Like, he can do some really good stuff and sometimes, sometimes he can just do an... Uh... And, and sometimes he does yoga hoses, which... As, that might be the worst... One, one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. And sometimes... Sometimes... There's a walrus. <laughs> I haven't seen Tusk. I'm gonna defend Tusk. I think for what it okay. is, it's like it does some interesting things, and I think he direct he directs it fairly well. I haven't seen Tusk again. That's one of the things where one of these days I'll I'll watch it. But Stefan, I was like, <laughs> when you said I will defend, I was like, if he fucking says yoga hoses. He's fucking fired. <laughs> oh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not defending Yoko Hoses. I tried watching it, and I'm like, what is this? This this is disgusting. And not not in a fun way. Not in, not in a, this is disgusting, like, how should a dead overkill is. You know, like, it's just... Because no, I mean, this like, is disgusting. Well, yeah, it no, is. No, like, these monsters are clearly green screened in. It looks, and this looks terrible. The, the, I, I have seen, you, I have seen red letter media videos of 
better looking production value and effects than um, uh, yoga hoses. And it's just, I remember it was one day, I forget what we recorded. It was me, TJ, and Jono. We got drunk. First, we started watching some Gemini holograms, and then we switched to yoga hoses, and then we went back and watched more uh, Gemini holograms. That sounds like an absolutely nauseous evening. It was beautiful. <laughs> was it truly outrageous? Yeah, good because people we watched we watched the last episode where you find out that uh one of it, 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 <laughs> the last episode. Whoa, of whoa, 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 whoa! Are you about to split, drop some gem in the hologram spoilers? Because I am super committed to starting it at some <laughs> point. <laughs> Do I'm not just, ruin I'm, gem in the holograms for me. I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say that the last episode of Gem in the Holograms has a pretty lengthy Vietnam flashback. <laughs> oh, no shit. Yeah, it, that, it's, yeah, I mean, it, it gives all new meaning to her being outrageous. <laughs> you ever read the comic? Oh, comics, the comic's amazing. The comic's great. I started reading it. It's great. It's the fire. Wait. You, clearly did, you clearly did not watch the uh, FTCR video about Platform Mania. You can clearly see me reading a trade of Gem on the Holograms. Well, I forgot. Is it a gritty reboot where all of the holograms have mental illnesses or something? Or, no, or, or past trauma of some kind, like with Archie? No, no. Uh, no not really, but they, um, they they made a bunch of them lesbians. Okay. In a good way, in a good way, um, you know, like... It's, I gotcha. If you, if you go back and watch the old show, like, there's... They were there's, girlfriends, not, and now they're girlfriends. Kind of. Yep. I understand those references. <laughs> but do you? We'll kill your children. <laughs> do you think they're assigned their typing sign, or do you think they get to pick which one they want to be killed by? I want to be I killed by comic I reference. <laughs> yes. I identify as E. <laughs> you identify oh, as a zombie it's... from the first level where you just learned the individual letters? It's the fucking Entourage movie. Kill E, then Turtle. Then we'll come back for Johnny Chase. Ding Ing. Is that supposed to be an Anna Ing like reference or something? Probably. Cool. Is that a is that, is that a sci-fi book? I don't. I know it more as the title for uh, they might be giant song, Anna Ing or some shit. Mm. So probably not related. I know I, I've I've got the sci-fi turned on right now, so just so I could like get all the easy references. Yeah. Who knows? These are things I know. I clapped when I saw that reference. Well, I mean, all B-list sci-fi, you know, movies that involve a toxin or a substance or a chemical of any kind, obviously you have whatever it could be, hyphen X, and then you're good. Chemical Chemical X. X. Performance X. Dinosaur reviving juice X. It's all the same shit. I love how that one just said idiot and then died. <laughs> hey, zombies can have self-loathing too. They're more like to us than we think. Oh, it's a neutrino. Kill it. We're the worst part of the Ninja Turtle comic book. Were, were they also in the... Were those those biker guys in the cartoon? Yeah, the uh, hot rotten teenagers from Dimension X. They had uh, terrible haircuts and they all spoke like typical kind of like 80s cool dude like they, they they had more cringe worthy dialogue than michelangelo did everyone everyone was a hip cat and a cool dog pretty embarrassing pretty embarrassing cowabunga exactly cow a fucking manga. and that was in the first season the best season yes season one i i will defend yeah. season one to my dying breath yeah season one's the best season because they actually and it has the best people. animation by far mm-hmm that's just a little on a tangent, you know, whenever you see things like Tools Forever and, um, like, they, whenever the Nickelodeon show crossed over, they always kind of, uh, make jokes of the 80s Tools, which I get, and, you know, I'm not one of those fans that are crying about it, because for a good chunk of that show, they never used their weapons, and they wouldn't really fight anything. But you go back and watch, that, like, the, specifically the first episode, my, one of my favorite Leonardo moments ever when they're first fighting the foot soldiers, before they know they're robots, Leonardo just slices one in the stomach. 
So Leonardo, the, the first in the first battle, unless, unless you include when they fight off human Bebop and Rocksteady, because you don't really see that fight so more in the shadows. The first time they're having like an actual confrontation, Leonardo goes straight for a kill shot, and I love that. It's great. <laughs> Rape for the kill. It's crazy. Fucking bloodthirsty char cartoons. Well, it, you know, it makes sense. You know, uh, the, the the comic it's based off the very the very first issue. They basically their whole mission is uh, Splinter's like I've raised you for 15 years. I I trained you in martial arts for one purpose: go and murder the fuck out of Shredder. And they do. Fucking like, kill. Dermi Terminate with extreme prejudice. prejudice. <laughs> I love that. Uh, Toast for us, that's a good. We swore to terminate the Shredder to avenge Master. And that, that was because four kids were never allowed to say, like, death or kill. So we have to terminate him. But then they used it, but then they used it for an Apocalypse Now reference, and it worked. Hmm. Ooh, those are good. Always good and fine. It's, it's good It's good to have a Francis Ford Coppola reference in your four kids show. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it, I I think that's a Wally -E reference, but I'm not sure. Like that 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 like caught me off guard when I first saw that. I'm like, wait, is that referencing Wally? -E? Because if it is, that's really cool. Well, did this the type of, did this come out after Wally? -E? Yes, this yeah, was after okay. Wally. -E. But just because all the sci-fi references are like old, like like a few minutes ago we passed by a Mad Max reference, mm. but now the, and and it's it's and it's a. Uh, uh, what do you call it? It's a more it's a more obscure reference to Wally because it's the line computer defined dancing. So I was like, hmm, I yeah. wonder. I like. What would you guys? Oh, nothing, man. Uh, uh, what would you guys think? Because this game is clearly like referencing how the older shooter games were modeled, as well as like their technique with the backgrounds. But how would you feel if someone now in the present were to make a reference game? that used, um, you know, the FMV enemies with those arcade shooters. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, so it, like, it, like it's, and it's all super stylized, like, like, they build it from the ground up to use that style and, like, they make it competently and good or something. I think that'd be kind of neat to see. So, like, Night Trap or Wing Commander, like, the, like, Sega CD games, but done but good. But not embarrassing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, but done, like, as a style, as a stylized choice, like we want to use that this gross, ugly style, but like try to see it make it work. Well, didn't they? Didn't they recently just actually remake Night Trap with the PS4? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there is appeal. There is an appeal to it. So that's why I'm surprised. I mean, with things like Cuphead and shit, like we're taking old art styles and then like trying it new. Like, let's use those old NBM NBM Cuphead is only for elitist players. All right. Who just care about things like gameplay? Let's let us let us not let's not okay. And not not just gameplay, but difficulty. We need and making sure you fake ass scrubs are punished for not knowing how to play video games. I want I want my <laughs> game to play itself. I want a button that that lets, lets me win in my my sixty dollar well, game. I mean, Thank you. I mean, it is based off of Disney cartoons, so to me, technically. You you could watch it. <laughs> you could watch your video game. Stefan, I'm surprised you actually saved that. They actually saved that woman. She's HD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. That's how he judges women's worth is by their pixel count. You, you resolutionist bastard. <laughs> Isaac, take that ice off in your stupid roots of robotics. <laughs> Fuck you, Will Smith. <laughs> The original ending to I Am Legend was much better. Fuck you. The original book to oh. I Robot was better. Wait, isn't the original for I Am Legend just um, the Omega Man? Yeah. Well, no. I mean, in in the the movie I Am Legend, the original ending was that you know it kind of plays out like you know the kind of mutant vampire things come and just get the the body of the one he kidnapped and leave, uh -huh. which is which is a lot was the, you know the the you know that hard people notice who have read it the the basic plot is is that uh, Will Smith's character is kind of kind of kind of becomes Dracula. Yeah, he's reverse. the he's the monster. He is, yes, he is the legend, which I think is a much more and most people that I've at least the ones I've read online that that is a much more powerful ending than this. I'm gonna set off two explosives and kill myself when the two people I'm trying to protect are like two foot away from me. Yeah. 
Like, the ending to I Am Legend is so fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah, that's just the uh, Omega Man ending. So it would have mm. been a more faithful adaptation. And I always had one issue with that movie, too, was that apparently the reason the antidote wasn't working was the mutant zombie vampires weren't cold enough. It's like, it's been 10 years in New York. You mean to tell me Manhattan in 10 years never dropped below freezing at any point for 10 years? Bullshit. They've, cl they've clearly never been... <laughs> <laughs> so for some Stephen, reason, the music bastard. didn't load. So... I was like, what should I put here? I know. I come the enemy, stab him up. <laughs> come the enemy, shoot him up. This is justice, this is typing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. China shop nemesis. This, this, um, mi and this minotaur keeps glitching. <laughs> nice. Oh, I Why thought that was part of it. Is? No, nope, yeah, the game. You know, the game's uh, just crapping out right now. Oh no! And, and to go back to what we were saying, the ending of I Am Legend is why sometimes movie studios should not listen to uh, test audiences. Dude, test audiences, fuck shit up. All right, the so, ignorant so, opinion of the masses will always impede creativity. Don't listen to people. Like, when, when was the last time one of those actually turned out good? I'm still fucking mad about Epic Mickey. Bing. That's what pissed me off about test groups, was all of that great concept art and the idea that they were going at, it was all coming together, and then they did a test audience run, and it all got thrown in the trash. What, wasn't, wasn't that also a Disney thing? They're like, uh, we don't know if you want to take go Because of the test audience, because they were releasing some of the earlier sketches, but it was after that test audience screening that that's when it all changed. And that's when the dark Mickey became, oh, he's not dark, he's a scrapper. Scrap. It is. It is. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I never played the full game. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I did that. You know what? I will say, people give the Chronicle soundtrack shit. I legit love this track. This song's so, great. Battle Battle Theme Four is amazing. But um, you know, I I played Epic Mickey for like an hour. It's a pretty shit game. So I think I think even if, if like the scrapper and shit were in the game. It still wouldn't be that much that fun to play. Yeah. It would just it, it would it would just have cool ideas, but it'd still be like, eh. It, it just turned out really generic. That was its problem. Yeah. I'm just so mad that we didn't get to see all the cool art like e realized and shit. Evil evil Oswald is the most creepiest thing I've ever seen. It's good, like right? Demon blob. And she oh, got shit. her arm. Oh no, how is she gonna get asked to the Harvest Moon ball dance without her arm? <laughs> She's lost her arm and the prom's tomorrow! <laughs> oh no. Will she become the Winter Soldier? Oh hey! Wait, wait, wait. What year did this game come out? Because this girl has the 2016 I'm a Unique Girl highlights in her hair. Like 2010 ish? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. The, the PS3 remake came out in I believe so. I believe it was 2010, oh, okay. 2011. Yeah, okay. she's, she's got those free independent girl highlights going on there. Made popular in such movies as Wreck-It Ralph and <laughs> the Emoji <Wreck> Movie. <laughs> I, I, love, I, I love this. He's coming down on his stair lift in heaven. <laughs> Something about health and safety. Leave me, Farla. Go. Find Caesar and kill him. See, even even on on the the bit of something I I brought up in the last part, even in this PS3 version, like the uh, facial animation still isn't that great. I'm still concerned about her ear going through a human arm and her hair just dematerializing. <laughs> I mean, Candy's got problems, but not one of them is that stump arm now. <laughs> That's the least of her problems. <laughs> Look at that fucking weird... Look at her neck! Look at her weird neck contortion! Some, somehow I feel like the guy who modeled this character, the closest he ever got to seeing an actual woman's body was a Barbie doll. <laughs> like, she has perfect Barbie proportions, it's so fucking weird. What if she Barbie just called had, her a what, doll. What if Barbie had bigger boobs? 
that she that's just a sex doll. But that one has a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I want it, 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 I want it. Why is she keeping the arm for? That's weird. Souvenir. <laughs> what is she fucking kid flash now? I get that, actually. I feel oh, so glad. sad. <laughs> Ah, uh, Stefan, you missed one poster. Go back and do it again. Redo. Redo! Play the game again. Play the game again. Here come the LOP. Do not watch. Please watch. <laughs> My children need wine. Fucking shillers.